Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, finally, a friendly face. Is, he's still being held for observation. Meanwhile, it's good to see you. Oh, congratulations, Mayor Dent. How does it feel? Oh, it'd feel better if I were out of here. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. <clears throat> every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. Well, it's probably for the best to forget about her. Oh, well, I was kind of hoping you'd be a little more optimistic. <clears throat> Maybe you're right. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. I mean, he's the reason I'm sitting here. No one else even did a damn thing. Hey, thanks. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. That stunt at the debate was just the first step. Batman stopped them from killing you the other night, but they will try again. I won't hide from them, Bruce. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy. To go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? You have to listen to your therapist, Harvey. That, that should be obvious. No, I know. I know. But sitting here, this isn't doing me any good. Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot. Hill admitting to having both of them killed. It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. This just proves that I never really knew him. He was just hiding who he really was. I'm sorry. I know you'll pull through this. <sighs> Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign, I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. It's a bit late for apologies, isn't it, Harvey? Yeah. I guess it is. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? My, my assistant won't be here for another hour. It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce.
Unit 6 in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad I got your attention. I didn't have a lot of options. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. I have good ones every now and then. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce. Just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. She went rogue, and you didn't try to stop her. I did what I could, all right? I'm asking for your help. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I never heard of them before. Then that debate... You saw the video from Arkham Asylum. The whole city did. That all happened a long time ago. It got dug up. And so did all the anger. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? A little busy at the moment, Jim. Say no more. All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls, like X-ray peering. And why didn't I already have this? Tech upgrades take time. I do run your actual research and development department as well. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight. So, it's gotta be done. You wanna argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Get her! Headed to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose.
got this one. Batman, look out! It's over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. It's okay. It's in the past. I forgive you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. I don't know what I was thinking coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Don't beat yourself up. You did a lot of good here today. Sometimes the risk is worth it. I'll keep that in mind. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. The chatter sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's gotta help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. Alfred. Are you alright? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Debra, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Put down your weapon! There's too many of them! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there! On my way. Self-defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that? Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? You have something to say, then say it. We all know how you operate. You've been trying this nice guy routine lately, but I don't buy it for a second. At least this one died quick. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, to command. command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command, command here. here. What is, what it, is Gordon? it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> I'm not sure of anything right now, but Lucius will have answers. I have a feeling we've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Hopefully it doesn't sink us, sir. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? It's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. 
already on my way. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. You shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. I just needed some place to think. You have your own office, Regina. I know it's irregular, but it's a comfort to have somewhere to remind me of the Waynes in all their glory. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... It makes sense. Logistically. The company needs to separate itself from the Wayne name. It's a cowardly move to look good for the press. I wasn't expecting you to roll over so easily, Bruce. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. Then go tell that to the board. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bruce? I'm not your enemy. You should remember that. Don't forget who your allies are, Mr. Wayne. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. The board's in a panic, but this will die down before it comes to that. I'm glad you're being optimistic about this, but I'm not so sure. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a backdoor into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news, or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. <sighs> there's good news. If the children of Arkham are accessing the Wayne Enterprises network, I can't imagine there's a bright side. I of the beholder, Bruce. The good news is, I should be able to shut down the back door. But that's because I was the one that built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. 
Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it, not unless they knew what they were looking for. We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Well, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city... I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. <sighs> I 
Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat Computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Mr. Wayne, Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I will do whatever's best for the company. You know that. I know you well enough by now, Bruce. Don't do anything you'll regret. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. As you know, Oswald's parents were... Well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Oh, well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. 
It'll only take a minute. Though Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Bruce! I need security in here right now. No, what was that This is for? a disaster. You've lost your bloody mind. Bruce, stop this. Oh, for heaven's sake, calm down. Get him out of my office. Let's go. I'm so sorry, Mr. Copperpot. I'll go fetch the medic. That's very kind of you, Regina. Thank you. Bruce! They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. It's all safe. Don't worry. For how long? Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D, and let me know if anything comes up. Keep that drive safe. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. I don't know. Having it easy sounds a little boring. Well, perhaps that's why you never take a vacation. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time, but... ...statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The Children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. City Hall, record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. 
These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Well, look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back tire. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that! I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. My nerves are totally shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no, what? Uh, good, no, that's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been... Looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. Like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? Well, Gotham's last mayor was Hill, so the bar's pretty low. Can't be too hard, right? Yeah, thanks. I guess. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while, that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? 
The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts, and maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Nah, then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. Whoa, 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 Harvey, calm down. You're the mayor of Gotham, not the tyrant. <laughs> like you know any better, Wayne. We know what's best for Gotham. What's best for Harvey? Who is we? Sorry. Sorry, Bruce. I... I did not mean that. I just, uh... I, I guess I lost myself for a moment. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud. That's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. Interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Unlikely. I stonewalled her at the GCPD after Falcone was shot. But you did give her the files on Falcone in the first place. Surely that would be enough leverage. Even so, Vicky's not a fan of being told no, regardless of the circumstances. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy, especially not when you're a reporter. I need some information from you. It's important. <laughs> yeah, figured as much. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. 
For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I'm going to need you to be more helpful than that, Miss Vale. <sighs> Save the dramatics for those who deserve it. Bruce Wayne would be a good start. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I'm not stupid. I know you have some connection with him. That data drive he gave me? That was from you. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. Believe me, I'll make sure Bruce Wayne's debt is repaid. Gotham will be glad to hear it. Thank you. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> Please, Miss Vale, think what you want about Bruce Wayne. But I need to find the children of Arkham before they hurt anyone else. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. They should be there. They'll show eventually. Yeah, I don't doubt you. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. I'm going to have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm going to look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only... They're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. 
I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this? This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Easy access. The train car was raised to make working beneath it easier. They wanted to get this done fast. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover!
If I'd known you were gonna make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two! Get these mixed, loaded onto the train! This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. <laughs> Death might be preferable. I surrender. Take me instead, and let her go. Now screw this. I'm not that sort of damsel. Train's ready! Move on! Decide when this ends. <laughs> you have to face the truth sometime, Batman. You can't protect Gotham from itself. They lit the fire. We're just here to stoke the flames. The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you'll save your precious city. Just like the other liars. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 
Hang in there. Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. I'm gonna get you somewhere safe. Just stay with me. I know. Come on. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Don't leave. I'm just getting something from the other room. You're gonna be okay, Bruce. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh. <sighs> what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would've killed you. <clears throat> I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? I had a plan. I was just trying to help you, Selina. I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for yours either, but here we are. Touché. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. Why even stay in Gotham? You could just leave. Trying to get rid of me? <laughs> Come on. Tired of starting over, I guess. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Hey, I promise I don't bite. Yeah, but she does. Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. I'm starting to see that for myself. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world. And won't let anyone else see. I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times. But you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. What? Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but... I've taken plenty from good people, too. 
for what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... Nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. You're not alone, okay? I'm here for you. Thanks, Bats. Hmm. I was hoping for something more than that. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? Let me help you. Mm. It's what you do best, isn't it? Are you trying to tease me, Bats? Is it working? Hey there. <laughs> Surprised you're still here. Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That was fun. But you showed me where we stood back at the debate. <laughs> I know last night didn't mean anything. I don't need you to stay and hold my hand. One night stands don't usually stick around. <laughs> well, it meant something to me, Selena. I thought... Oh, I'm sorry. But that's not what this is. It's better this way. No strings. There are bagels in the fridge if you're hungry. No need to rush out on an empty stomach. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... if you were... I, uh, took a bit of a beating when I ran to the children of Arkham. What happened? It's kind of a long story. I'll tell you about it when I get back. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. I trust her, Alfred. That's all I need to know. If you're sure, at the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Pretty strong magnets on these things. 
Very lightweight, though. They could use something like this. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even the good place. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's academic. Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Hey, I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously. What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? Back off, Harvey. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you! None of this is about you, Harvey. What, so I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. I can handle the children of Arkham. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Bruce Wayne can do anything. Everything Harvey couldn't. He thinks he's so much better! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. You stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. And they aren't going to help you. Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's going to make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're going to pick that up. Who oh, am I? Yes, you are. Harvey, you are our friend. We don't want to fight you. And what if I do? Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it. One way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena. Looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me! The call's already been made! Harvey! 
Bruce! No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> no. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. with him. But I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. Who are you talking about? There's no one else here. That's, it's no one. It's just me. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. I think maybe you're right. There's nothing we can do for him now. Let me call someone. I'll... I'll go. I know I messed it all up. You don't have to... Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not going to stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm going to find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. <coughs> yeah, that means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. Maybe you're right. This could be my chance to expose Oswald for who he really is. Let Gotham know he's a part of the children of Arkham. Exactly. You better get going. Guess it's gonna be a while. Yeah. You, uh... You stay safe, alright? Same to you. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. And please, Bruce, try to be on your best behavior. The very best. Wouldn't want to bring any more shame to the Wayne family name. Now would we? 
I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. You're right. This is my legacy, and the only reason I'm putting up with this charade. Yes. Well, as long as you cooperate, I suppose your motivation is irrelevant. Bruce, what's your opinion of the Shiner? Regina wanted me to cover it up with makeup. She doesn't think it looks very dignified. But here I think it's a fine display of what the moral high ground looks like. Mr. Cobblepot. All in good fun, honestly. <laughs> a thrown punch is just water under the bridge. Right, Bruce? Boys are just being boys and all of that. No hurt feelings, I'm sure. I don't know. The black eyes are good look for you, Oz. <laughs> really? Yeah. Shows off just how delightfully punchable that face of yours really is. Bruce! It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've all How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, and taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. Oh no, dear, not even close. We have no one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Yeah, perhaps, but at least I get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're going to have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed. That's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. Now you'll never know what part your mum played in it. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. I've been asked here today to lie to you, to regurgitate a script prepared by the company all to hide the fact that I have been forced out. But I won't do that. I will not lie to save face. One moment, folks. Try that again, and I'll call security. My father wasn't the only one involved in this corruption. Mayor Hill and Carmine Falcone. It was a system designed for their gain. Dodging the blame? Is it gonna do you any good, mate? Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior today. Nice After statement. All, the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Vicky, go away. It sounds like your days of giving orders are through. It's not an easy thing, seeing something you've come to have as your pen. That's not. Being taken over by another. 
You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No, I am the children of Arkham. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Way! <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Even with Batman as its protector, Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe. That they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? <laughs> 